All right, guys. So what we have here is we have your upper on the outside, and that's going all the way up to the spreaders. Then for this board, we have the checks for the vang, and that is your lowest one at the mast point. Then next back would be your lowers, and that's going right up to underneath the spreaders. So farthest forward would be the checks for the vang, your lowers, which connect underneath the spreaders, and on the outside is your uppers, which are on the outside of the spreaders. Got the head of the sail attached to the halyard. I'm gonna leave that hooked up. I'm going to run the tack line. The tack line is hooked up to the pole. I've got a six inch tail on the bowline. That way, whenever it's fully hoisted, it's all the way down at the bottom. I've got a stopper ball on there to keep any line from getting jammed. From there, we'll come back. We'll hook up the spinnaker trim to the clue of the sail. They're both attached. So for the retrieval douse line, you always want to go underneath the spinnaker trims, underneath the bottom of the sail. And this is an intensity kite, so we would go through the grommet. And about three feet down, you will have an attachment point. And you'll just tie a bowline in it. And so we'll do a hoist real quick. So we're underneath everything through a grommet to the attachment. And so on the douse, the whole kite should go in the boat. We're all in, and then you would grab the tack line underneath the spinnaker bag to pull the pole in the last little bit. <laughs> 